The place is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The armed conflict between the government and rebels officially ended in 2003, but with at least 70 militant groups still at large, the UN peacekeeping mission there remains vital for maintaining the stability of the region. With over 16,000 boots on the ground, it's currently the largest such UN mission with over 15 troops on the ground. 161 of those are Ukrainian. One of the tasks of the Ukrainian military units are to take the soldiers of the Indian contingent and bring them to positions to replace other military units. Back in Ukraine, future UN peacekeepers are being trained at the Peacekeeping and Security Center in the Lviv region. Also known as Blue Helmets, these soldiers are selected from a highly competitive group. Real-life combat experience is one of the criteria used to determine who will be chosen. Military who took part in combat operations in the Donbas conflict zone have great fighting experience, showed the best results in military training, they have the best chance of being selected. Basically, it's tactics and shooting. It also requires a high level of physical fitness. First, soldiers are selected individually, and then they enter the military units. Camaraderie is developed during the field training, then they are assessed, certified, and assigned to a mission in which Ukraine is active. Currently, this is either Kosovo or the DRC. The Ukrainian military maintains that participation in such missions is no small responsibility. If there is an order for the departure of the military to a peacekeeping mission, then I think everyone will agree. This is not only my opinion, many people have the same opinion. A year ago, this young lieutenant went to the front line immediately after graduating from the military academy. First, he served in eastern Ukraine as a part of the 14th Brigade. Now he trains service personnel at the peacekeeping and security center. Many of the UN peacekeepers took part in combat operations in eastern Ukraine and then continued their service in other countries. Fighter pilots are among those active in the Congo. Because the use of aviation in the conflict in Donbass is banned under the Minsk Accords, Ukrainian pilots are honing their skills in the peacekeeping missions in Africa. Assignments are being performed by all members of military unit. They have a lot of flights. During our rotation, the unit already flew more than 600 hours. There were also cargo deliveries and carriage of personnel of the mission. We also had to make combat flights by Mi-24 helicopters. Every combat flight has a risk of coming under fire. However, Ukrainian military pilots are resolved to stay with the mission. They are few who have experienced war in their own country and know the value of true peace.